So the last place in the world you probably thought that you could build a multifamily portfolio is out here in the country in a little town called State and less than 8,000 people. That's exactly what I'm going to show you this week's call. you create in real estate starts small right if, if you own a lot of rental properties you didn't you didn't buy them all at once you know you got there by buying them one door at a time if you've done tons of flips it started with that first flip I'm gonna be interviewing AJ Westland and his wife Lily now AJ is Carrie's brother he's also a one-time professional snowboarder now turned Worm Slinger, that's right, he sells worm poop to farmers all, all over Oregon. Um, makes a great quality product, by the way, at Ground Up Soil. Gus, you can check him out on his Instagram feed. It is amazing. Uh, it, today, though, we're going to be talking not about wakeboarding, not about selling worms, but about his first real estate deal. It's going to give him a total of six rental doors, and it is his first step on his path to his goal of having a hundred rental doors check it out all right so this is aj's first investment deal yes sir right multi-family first multi first multi-family the first deal started uh, over in salem right and that was a home you got for your personal acres. self yep little little thir farmhouse. 13 acre farmhouse fha deal when you bought it right yep. fha 203k what were what were the numbers on that so you bought it did some improvements right had an exit on that after living there for a few years and, and, and got a quite a big chunk of cash, right? Yep. Which is how we bought this. Two, 224, we did an escrow hold back for 10 to get the roof. We put another 60 into it. We sat on it for five years and sold for 454. So we actually purchased for 229 all in and when we were done we received a check for 229 on the money the same thing damn after we paid off the uh remaining balance so that's that's called like the double double <laughs> so big pocket of cash there you got another home just down the street from here that you guys are living in now with your your new baby girl who's playing over there number two's on the way right yep. Yep. and this deal you I remember you talking to me about it a couple months ago when you were under contract and the numbers just blew me away. This is like your first purely investment deal, right? The first two deals were personal Primary homes, Primary residence. Right? All right, so we're standing right now on a vacant piece of land that came with the deal. And we're gonna talk a lot about that. That's exciting what you got coming here. But first, uh, let's talk about the four doors that are you know, behind us. What's, what's, what did the purchase on this price on this house look like? Uh, what's the deal with the four doors back there? Let, let's run through some of those numbers. Yeah, so we purchased it for 516. Um, it's currently fully rented and um, the full rent roll is 4200. So um, after our payments of about 2300 and then we, we pay utilities. So we're at about 20, 26, 2700. So our cash flow is about 1200 a month. So 12, 1400 a month, uh, 1400. 14, yeah, 1400 a month. Math is, is hard uh, when you're being videoed, <laughs> but uh, 1400 a month in cash flow. That's after paying all your principal interest taxes, insurance, and what is, what is that? Uh, so on, on the year, right? You're pulling out right now about 16,000 or, or so. Depending on how the coronavirus affects the, uh, <laughs> the rent roll, but yes, that's, that's the idea. And that was that was off a down payment all in and, and closing and all that of about 132, right? Correct. 132,000. So you're you're already at at 10% cash on cash return, a little above. Plus every month you're paying your your mortgage down, right? About another 500. So you've got another 6,000 of equity a year coming in there. So you know cash on cash plus the equity pay down is like 20 grand. So this. This is already looking like a, a great deal. Like, 
in theory, you'd have all your money out of this deal in like five years. And then after that, just pure profit. What are the, what are the plans uh, for, the, for the piece of dirt we're on right now? So part of the purchase price was a vacant lot that we didn't really know exactly how to put a value on. So we assumed some type of single family, ran the numbers with that. Um, and once we got the appraisal back for the fourplex, it was apparent that he didn't even put a value on the lot. Uh, so it, it's kind of like that was the icing on the cake or the cherry on top. And we plan to build a duplex on this lot. So the duplex is going to be two, three bed, two bath units. Uh, what kind of rent do you think you'll get out of those? 1600 1600 each. Uh, so another 3200 of income coming in. What's it going to cost you to do all this? A build cost of around 300000 and we hope for an appraisal uh, including the land that it sits on all in at about four hundred. Uh, so that's going to at most just be another twenty k on top of the, the 132 k right? Because you're going you're gonna to pay the three hundred, but pull it all out and uh, with the refi and get all of that money, maybe even some more out. Who knows what well, the appraisal will come in, but worst case you're in for 150000 but now that that fourteen hundred of cash flow, you're adding another uh, three hundred. Yeah, three hundred. We add about one hundred and fifty a door. So one hundred and fifty a door after the mortgage that, that you take to pull this out. So now, now you're up to seventeen, eighteen hundred a month potentially on your cash flow, um, and that's going to come out to I think we just ran the numbers on that like twenty thousand, twenty one thousand a year, something like that. And, and worst case, you're in for 152,000. That brings your cash on cash above 13%, right? So you got, you're gonna get it from 10% up to 13%, um, which is unheard of. This is all contingent upon a zone change on this right. back lot. It's currently zoned low density and we need to change it to medium density in order to build a multifamily duplex. So what's the process with, with that? You know, like I, I know you were telling me you got to do this traffic impact study. You're talking to the city. Yep. We had to sit down with the city and first discuss the feasibility of it, uh, which was a pre-application meeting. It cost us 300 bucks. And then we go through the official application process. And that's a long, drawn out, expensive. We're going to be into that about 3000 um, and there's a chance they'll say no, but so far it looks pretty good uh, because we're only going from a single family to a duplex. So right now it's zoned for single family. You get it changed to uh, medium density, get the two units here, and boom, you go from your first deal, six doors, well on your way to what? Where do you see this thing going? This multifamily empire you're building. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're gonna ride the coattails of five years, five thousand doors, and maybe go about five years, one hundred doors. Five years, one hundred doors. It all starts with the first deal. There's opportunity everywhere around you. You just gotta go grab it. Let's go.